Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. By now, I know many of you have already seen numerous reviews of the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation, but hopefully in today's video, you will hear something that you haven't heard before. So I'm going to begin by talking a little bit about the formula. I'll then show you the recommended application process, and then I will conclude with my final thoughts and review of the foundation. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The Airbrush Flawless Foundation retails for $44, so it's right there on par with every other Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I love this bottle. This is so grand, so beautiful. <laughs> it has full coverage, a matte finish. It's available in 44 shades, so they expanded the shade range, and it has skincare benefits something called the Magic Replexium Complex. So basically, it's not going to dry out your skin even though it has a matte finish. I was lucky enough to meet with our Charlotte Tilbury team before I filmed this video. They just got back from their seasonal training where they learned all about this new foundation and they had a lot of insight and things to say about it. For one thing, everybody loves the texture. They love how it goes on so smooth and it instantly perfects the skin, which is absolutely true. But they had a lot of good tips about choosing Using the right shade because it is a little bit tricky even though they expanded the shade range which is great even more people can enjoy this foundation it's not as simple as just choosing the same shade as you were in the magic foundation in fact the numbers do not correlate whatsoever. They recommend instead of going with your magic foundation shade it's actually a closer match to go with your concealer shade the website recommends that you leave it on for five minutes for the ingredients to optimize, and that's the verbiage that they're going with, but in layman's terms, you and I know it as oxidizing. It's going to get a lot darker on the skin, and that was my personal struggle in finding the right shade. So online, I blindly ordered shade five neutral, which is wrong, just all wrong for me. So when I was swatching in store, I chose 5.5 warm, 5.5 neutral, and 6 neutral. And just seeing how these foundations dry down, it was really incredible to watch because you can see in real time just how much darker they dry. And you have to leave it on for longer than five minutes. If you can, take a sample, wear it for several hours. In fact, the counter manager was showing me photos of when they were in training and she had applied the foundation and took a picture. And when she showed me the photo, I said to her, oh, so it has really bad flashback because her face was so much lighter than her body. I thought that the foundation was just really um, reflecting a lot of light and it would have flashback. And she said, no, 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 just wait. And she showed me a photo of her same face, same day, later on in the afternoon and it was a perfect match. So you really have to be careful with this foundation as much as it, it is a very beautiful formula. I think that may throw people and you're not going to be happy if you choose the wrong foundation and it ends up being light or you choose the right foundation and then it gets way too dark. There's also a very specific way to apply this foundation that was suggested to them in training. And usually I do take these things with a grain of salt and I'll sometimes just go rogue and apply foundation the way I like to apply it. But when it comes to a long wear formula, I do recommend that you stick to the instructions, at least at first. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the application process. The recommended prep step for this foundation is Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. Not the Light Wonder, or Wonder Glow, excuse me, primer. Not Hollywood Flawless Filter, but the cream. And I think this is intended to be more of a lubricant for the skin. So the way it was described to me is that you need a thick, luxurious, very creamy texture to help the foundation glide across the skin and lay down really smooth. So it's important to really hydrate. Don't skip your moisturizer if you're going to wear this foundation. Of course, everything does come down to personal preference. I cannot stress that enough. So if you have a particular way that you like to wear your foundation, go ahead and do so. But this is just what has been recommended. And I think the difference is any sort of illuminating primer is going to maintain a little bit of that slip, hydration, that dewiness, whereas the Magic Cream is going to eventually absorb into the skin. So it sort of 
acts as that shield and that lubricant to help the foundation glide onto the skin, but once it absorbs, the foundation is going to be able to set on the skin. Because it is a long wear foundation, it needs to be able to dry down. The good thing about this Marc Jacobs brush is that it will help pick up any excess product and help apply it really smooth and evenly on the skin. But you can see it instantly perfects. You get really full coverage. I think it looks okay. I mean, you can see the application was really fast and easy. I can't see any freckles. I can't really see any, like I usually have a freckle there. I can barely see it there. I can barely see it here. I can barely see this freckle. That's usually a pretty dark one. So if you like coverage, you are going to love this foundation. Right now it looks like a good color on my skin. Hopefully it will not optimize or oxidize too much darker than this. We shall see, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit on my skin for a minute. Nice. My makeup is now complete and to finish the look I of course used some of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products including the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I used the Film Star Bronze and Glow to highlight my face. I used the Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in the shade Ecstasy. This has become one of my favorites for more of a natural makeup look. And then on my lips I have the Lip Cheat and Lipstick in the shade pillow talk because of course why not use her tried and true cult favorites. So I'm back to give you sort of my final review of this foundation. Today was the first day that I used the Hollywood Flawless Filter to add a little bit of luminosity and glow and it has made a huge difference. The first day I wore this foundation I liked it but I felt like it was too matte and I had just come off of trying the Guerlain which I loved because it still gives you that coverage and perfecting but it does have more of a glow to it. I mean it's sort of a soft, maybe a satin finish. It was described to me as a natural matte but I felt like it was just a little bit too flat for my personal preference. I still really liked it but for me the Hollywood Flawless Filter has been a real game changer. It's taken me from liking the foundation to absolutely head over heels really loving the foundation. I think this is going to be best suited for anybody who likes coverage of course because it certainly will take you there in terms of coverage. From what I saw from other reviews online, people who have more mature skin have really liked the foundation. So I think as long as you prep and you go in with maybe not super heavy, but definitely a thick hydrating moisturizer to prep the skin, you may really like this foundation. I am very curious to see how the introduction of this new formula will affect the Magic Foundation. I simply cannot see myself grabbing my Magic Foundation when I now have the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. It gives you better coverage, it has skincare benefits, it just is instantly perfecting on the skin. You have a better shade range to choose from. I don't know, we'll see. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Do you feel like you will still use your medium coverage magic or will you opt to choose the airbrush flawless? They both have pretty matte finishes in my opinion. I don't know, I think this one may sort of overshadow the magic foundation completely. I'm definitely going to try them out next to each other. I think that will be my, my next video or the follow up to this is to go really in depth and decipher the differences between all of them. 
overall, I really love this foundation. It was well worth the wait, well worth all the hype. I'm incredibly happy that I finally nailed down my shade. I think this 6 Neutral suits me the best out of all of the shades that I've tried. So I will have to go back and exchange my 5 Neutral, but that's okay. It's the, the most important thing is that you find the right shade. And that would be my one caveat about this foundation is that it's a little bit tricky. You truly need to try a sample, wear it for several hours. I know they say on the website to let it sit for five minutes, but why not be safe? Once you nail down the shade, you will be so happy with it. It truly does cover any imperfections on the skin and it lasts really beautifully. Whenever I wore this to work the other day, at the end of my workday, I was kind of peeking in the mirror to see, you know, what was going on, what the situation was like, and it still looked beautiful. It was completely intact. The integrity of the foundation was still there. Now that I've tried it with the Hollywood Flawless Filter on top, I know that going forward, I just prefer a little bit more luminosity, but if you're somebody who loves matte, you'll love this. If you love full coverage, this is right up your alley. Skincare benefits, you got it. And that completes today's review. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you feel more confident in deciding whether or not this is the right foundation for you or how to choose the best shade. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. I wanna hear from you guys. Have you tried this foundation? What was your experience like? Drop me a comment so we can keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking everything that I used today on my face down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.